Hello, I'm Senate Budget Committee Chairman Patty Murray of Washington State. At the beginning of this Congress, I created an online platform called My Budget for members of the public to share their stories, ideas, and priorities. Since then, I've received thousands of responses from middle-class families across America who are sick and tired of the gridlock that has paralyzed the budget process in Washington, D.C. They told me they're looking to their elected officials to end the constant artificial crisis and political brinksmanship threatening our fragile economic recovery. They want us to work together to responsibly tackle the serious economic and fiscal challenges we face as a nation. And they want us to do that in a way that is fair for people like them. But you know, there's a disagreement right now about the best way to tackle the challenges facing our nation. One approach, introduced by Congressman Ryan and House Republicans yesterday, would take us back to the failed economic and fiscal policies that led to the Great Recession. It's an approach that is rooted in the failed idea that opportunity trickles down when the wealthy are given special treatment and that tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires should be protected at all costs. I think that's the wrong way to go. And today I am unveiling a different approach. It's an approach that reflects the values, priorities, and goals of a majority of Americans by creating the conditions for job creation, economic growth, and prosperity built from the middle out, not the top down. The Senate budget we are releasing today tackles the deficit and debt with a balanced mix of responsible spending cuts and new revenue from the wealthiest Americans and biggest corporations. Our budget makes the investments we need to get workers back on the job and begin fixing the worst of the crumbling infrastructure that is holding back economic growth. And it keeps the promises we've made to seniors and families and veterans and communities. It's a commitment I know well. When my dad got multiple sclerosis many years ago and had to stop working, my six siblings and I would never have made it if we didn't have a government that was there to help get back on our feet. I believe we are a nation that comes together to help families like mine, and the budget we are introducing today would make sure that continues. So I'd like to thank everyone who shared their story and provided valuable input in this process. But this effort isn't over, and we still need your help. Visit the Senate Budget Committee website at budget.senate.gov backslash democratic to read more about our approach and weigh in. Do you want a budget that will take us back to failed economic and fiscal policies? Or a budget that prioritizes fairness, opportunity for the middle class, and a return to responsible fiscal and economic policies? It's your voice that will continue to influence this process in the days and weeks ahead. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.